So here we have another alloy comparison video and this time it's 347 versus 304 stainless steel. You're not gonna wanna miss this one, so stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and in the world of woven wire mesh, stainless steel is the most versatile alloy, but just like any other metal alloy, stainless steel has many variants, each with its own beneficial qualities. So what are the qualities that could make 347 stainless steel better than 304 stainless steel? I'll never tell. You can't make me. W.S. Tyler has been weaving woven wire mesh for over 150 years and is dedicated to helping you make the best decisions for your woven wire applications. Fine, I'll tell. So, in this video, we'll go over the definition of 347 stainless steel, the benefits of using 347 wire mesh, the definition of 304 stainless steel, the benefits of using 304 wire mesh, and the differences between 347 and 304 stainless steel. 347 stainless steel is a member of the 300 series stainless steel family and is classified as an austenitic alloy, meaning there's a large presence of nickel and chromium. But broken down, 347 contains nickel, chromium, manganese, carbon, silicon, sulfur, niobium, and phosphorus. This chemical makeup enables the alloy to provide stability superior to most 300 series stainless steel alloys. 347 is generally used when the application calls for specific corrosion resistant requirements. It's because the alloy has come to be known for its ability to prevent carbide precipitation. And since it has pretty dang good corrosion resistance, particularly when intergranular corrosion is a concern, 347 is great for welding. The inclusion of niobium allows 347 to maintain stable performance during and after welding. Kind of sounds like a, kind of sounds like 347 wins. 304 stainless steel is an austenitic alloy known for its pliability when forming wire mesh components. It's considered the most common form of stainless steel, but technically 316 stainless steel is the most commonly used alloy when weaving wire mesh. But on that molecular level, 304 stainless steel consists of nickel, manganese, carbon, phosphorus, chromium, silicon, and sulfur. 304 stainless steel is a great wire mesh alloy when atmospheric corrosion is a problem. It can also maintain peak performance when exposed to oxidizing acids. This is partially true when operating in extreme temperatures since it is known to deliver heat resistance superior to similar stainless steel alloys. But possibly the most appealing benefit of using 304 is that cost effective durability it delivers. That means you can give it those high stress applications, then you can clean it over and over. High stress, rinse and repeat, literally. 304 stands the test of time. Doesn't sound like a no contest anymore now, does it? So 304 stainless steel is used way more than 347 stainless steel. This is definitely true when your wire mesh must be welded as 304 stainless steel offers better value when comparing weldability attributes to material cost. But having said that, it should be noted that 347 will deliver better performance when subjected to corrosive atmospheres and high temperatures. This is mainly due to the increased chromium levels in 347 stainless steel, which makes it stronger and more resistant to corrosion. Not to say that 304 doesn't have corrosion and heat resistance, it's just that 347 does it better. But there is one other thing that may completely change the way you think about 347 stainless steel. 304 is cheaper. It's cheap. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.